Bafang will no longer produce UART BBS and HD mid-drive motors and will be fully upgraded to CAN bus. It is expected to be announced around February 2025. As an old friend of Bafang, I feel their actions are worth explaining to my audience friends. <laughs> what is the UART protocol? What is CAN bus? What is the difference between them? Why do we need this upgrade? What can we do after the upgrade? This video will tell you everything. The video is a bit long, so it is recommended to like and subscribe first. Okay, you must be an e-bike enthusiast. Have the patience to continue watching the video. Cut out the bullshit. Let's officially start. First of all, UART and CAN bus are crucial communication protocols in electric bicycle systems, responsible for transmitting information between various components such as sensors. This complex communication network is crucial for e-bike. What is UART? In simple terms, the single lane of electric bicycle communication. We imagine UART as a single lane road and data is transmitted in a strict order like vehicles. As a basic communication protocol, it establishes a direct connection between two devices, transmitting only one bit of information at a time, just like a single lane road. Only one vehicle can pass at a time and data is transmitted from the sender to the receiver in order. UART is simple, so it is especially useful in small electric bicycles with low requirements. If a bicycle only needs to be able to turn the motor on and off and roughly check the battery level, then UART is cool. It does not require complex hardware and software, the development cost is low, and the data can travel smoothly on this small road. However, as the functions of electric bicycles become more and more complex, and there are more and more components such as motor controllers, battery management systems, smart displays, and various sensors, the amount of data that needs to be exchanged between them also increases. But UART can only communicate with one device at a time. Just like many cars suddenly come to a single lane highway, and every car wants to pass, the road is blocked, and the speed is slow. Due to the simplicity and limitations of UART, the riding experience will be reduced. Summary. UART is suitable for cheap electric bicycles with few parts. For such bicycles that need to control costs, UART hardware is simple. The communication rules are easy to understand and money can be saved. Just like cheap basic electric bicycles for short distance riding, controlling the motor and checking the battery level can be well achieved with UART which is both affordable and practical. What is CAN bus? In short, the highway of electric bicycle communication. CAN bus is like a multi-lane highway where data can be transmitted quickly and in parallel, making it suitable for modern models with many sensors, displays, and high-tech features, allowing multiple devices to communicate simultaneously. CAN bus packages information into frames and a frame contains more data than the single bit of data transmitted by UART each time, so the transmission is fast and efficient. For example, it can quickly and accurately transmit a large amount of real-time data between battery management and motor control, optimizing power and endurance. CAN bus has priority and key information such as motor control and braking is transmitted first, just like a dedicated lane on a highway. It has strong error detection capabilities and can ensure data integrity, even in an electromagnetic interference environment. For example, if a motor instruction is transmitted incorrectly, it can be resent in time to ensure driving safety and stability. Summary. CAN bus is suitable for high-performance, complex, and multi-component electric bicycles. Riders who pursue sensitive control and reliable communication should choose it. CAN bus can meet the communication needs of high performance and complex models and bring a high quality riding experience. There are too many things to say, so I will use two tables to summarize their differences. Don't forget to subscribe and like when taking screenshots. Your acts of kindness will bless you throughout 2025. In the first half, we have addressed these three issues. Next, why do we need to upgrade? What can we do after the upgrade? 
This is a Bafong 48 volts, 750 watts with CAN bus protocol. This upgrade did not change its appearance, but it added a battery communication line and a taillight line. Then the 1T4 line connector became a trapezoid and the display connector became a triangle. The speed sensor changed from a single hall to a dual hall, and the connector also became a trapezoid. I made a comparison chart and you can pause and view it freely. Next, the performance changes. The connector size has become smaller which is more suitable for the internal wiring of e-bikes and is more compatible with different types of frames. IoT technology to become smarter. For example, intelligent speed regulation. Connect electronic components to each other to achieve more efficient and stable communication and all components can work together. The system is more stable and reliable and the excellent anti-interference and data processing capabilities reduce the probability of data transmission and failure without unnecessary maintenance costs. I have summarized six points about the riding experience. First, the current output by the motor is purer, and the pedaling frequency will be smoother and more fluent when riding. Second, the motor is clean, pure, and efficient when working, and the noise is significantly reduced. Third, the voltage of the light module is consistent with the battery voltage, supports 0.7 amp current, and adds a tail light. And the headlights got brighter. Fourth, it is more adaptable and there are more choices for displays. Look at all my displays, they are all adaptable. Fifth, connecting the communication version battery, you can read the battery parameter information, including temperature, voltage between each battery pack, charging and discharging time, etc. We have developed the function of EKD01, in which you can see the health information of the battery. With this information, you are no longer afraid of buying inferior batteries. Sixth, use Bafong Go app to customize more riding parameters. This is the Bafong app. Let's see how to customize riding parameters after the instrument is connected to Bluetooth. Like this, you can set the speed limit, acceleration characteristic start angle, and power output for each gear through your mobile phone. This is very convenient. In the past, motors required special programming to achieve this, but now it can be achieved with a mobile phone. The latest version of EKD01 can also do these functions. If the likes exceed 300, I will publish a special introduction to the EKD01 display and App Bike Go. Thank you. I know. Unfortunately, after upgrading Kanbus, Bafang BBS did not bring us a qualitative leap, and even all the original UART products are facing doomsday in the future, which is sad. But we can't fight the tide of the times. The development of products must be technologically innovative, just as we can't expect a product to be sold for 20 years. We need innovation. Innovation! I have communicated with a technician, and I asked him, from UART to CAN bus. If UART is compared to a worker ant, what is CAN bus? He said, Caesar. Haha, <laughs> what a vivid metaphor. The transition from UART to CAN bus is not simply from 1 to 10, but from 1 to 100 or even 1,000. Although the use of CAN bus in the e bikes industry has just started, it is definitely a trend. Products like DJI and Tesla are constantly updating and making infinite progress using the CAN bus protocol. If e-bikes want to develop and break through, the use of CAN bus is an inevitable choice. I believe that in the future the products will be better and more friendly to the people and can improve our riding experience. Besides, if you are not interested in the development of high-end e-bikes and just want a simple means of transportation, you still have many choices. Varstrom must have a product suitable for you convenient pre-sales consultation service and one-year warranty, lifetime maintenance service. Local warehouses and after-sales maintenance points around the world can deliver to your door within three to seven days. Subscription privileges, I put the link below the video. DM me to send you a 30 euro discount code. Subscribe to Varstrom and DIY your way of travel.
See you next time.